What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with a free pick in the Cincinnati Bengals versus Pittsburgh Steelers. NFL matchup going down Sunday, November 26, 2023. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games I love the most, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get to this one between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Cincinnati Bengals coming into this one 5-5 five and five on the year, 4-5-1 and one against the number after a 34-20 loss to the Baltimore Ravens. They, did, they lost a lot more than that, I, I will tell you that much, but we'll get to that in a sec. Meanwhile, the Pittsburgh Steelers 6-4 and four on the year, both straight up and against the number after a 13-10 loss on the road at the hands of the Cleveland Browns in their last matchup. Now we'll start with the Bengals. Like I said, they lost to the Ravens, but they've lost starting quarterback Joe Burrow for the rest of the season with what looks to be a wrist injury. Um, on the other side, you know, Pittsburgh sort of been plugging along, but the Bengals needed Burrow. I mean, this was a team that was really struggling early on, even with Burrow when he came back from, from that injury. The offense wasn't, you know, wasn't clicking all that much. And then they got the win over the Rams to sort of to sort of kickstart things. They lost to the Titans, but then they rattled off four straight wins. They got up to five and three on the year, and then it kind of just looked like the, the Bengals were going to do Bengals things like what they've done last year, you know, had a slow start. And then rattled off a double-digit win streak. It just started to look like they were going to pick it up. Lost against Houston last week. But then you had the game against the Ravens. And you had Burrow on the sideline. And he couldn't throw the ball. Like you just saw. I, I remember it vividly. I remember they were cutting to the sideline. He tried to throw the football. And he didn't even get through his full like you know follow-through. The ball just hit the turf. And he, he went over wincing, holding his wrist. And you knew it was bad. And uh, that's not what Cincinnati Bengals need. Because now they have to turn to Jake Brown and who's going to be making his first career NFL start in this one uh, against a, a Pittsburgh Steelers team that, you know, there's there's now rumblings coming out that there was, you know, a, a, a fight between, you know, guys like Deontay Johnson and Minka Fitzpatrick. In the locker room, you know, Johnson was heated in that loss with coaching, with, uh, with, with all different parts of the coaching staff. He was having an animated discussion with Mike Tomlin on the sideline in that game. And, you know, just he, he, just, he was just really frustrated. And a lot of that had to do with the fact that, you know, the, the Steelers offense had been dreadful. For much of the season, so much so that they fired Matt Canada earlier this week, the offensive coordinator. And to put it into perspective of how bad it was and, and how badly that the Steelers needed to make that move, they hadn't fired an offensive coordinator or head coach midseason since the 1940s. So this this Steelers team was just flat out done. And um, like I said, it was you know Johnson and Fitzpatrick got in an argument, you know, because that stemmed from that. The word is that you know everybody's kind of moved on and they've been able to focus on the on the seat on the Bengals this week, but um, <clears throat> it doesn't change the fact that it happened. But I think that you know with Canada out, you're going to see a new look Pittsburgh Pittsburgh Steelers team. And it's a decent Pittsburgh Steelers team, but for me also the fact is that you're you're dealing with the Pittsburgh pass rush, the Pittsburgh defense going up against Jake Browning in his in his first career NFL start, and not only that, I mean. The Bengals' offense wasn't doing like was lighting the world on fire, even when Burrow was in the in the fold. So, just having a hard time getting there with the Cincinnati Bengals. I think the Pittsburgh Steelers come in and get the job done in this one. I'm going to take the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm going to lay the two. I'm also I might just sprinkle on the money line rather than mess around with the two points. But either way, give me the uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers here, and that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're pick dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here at Pick Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.